First, we are cutting Russian access to the most important capital markets, prohibiting the listing and provision of services in relation to shares of Russian state-owned entities on new training venues, and so significantly limiting the financial inflows from Russia to the EU. These sanctions will target 70% of the Russian banking system and key state-owned companies, including on the field of defense. They will increase Russia's borrowing cost, increasing costs, financial costs, means increasing inflation, and gradually eroding Russian industrial base and attracting less foreign direct investment. I want to stress why we are not targeting Russian people. Many of them spoke against the senseless war, and I want to salute their courage, the courage of the people that in 58 Russian cities have been demonstrating against the war. And we certainly make the difference between Kremlin and Russia. Putin is not the Russian people. We have listed today President Putin and Foreign Minister Lavrov. This is the final outcome of the discussion who was not finished yesterday at the European Council and has been decided today by the ambassadors and the ministers on the intense discussion that we have been taking place during this morning. So President Putin and Foreign Minister Lavrov are in the list of sanctioned people, together with the remaining members, the Duma, who are supporting this aggression, and also with relevant members of the Sec Russian Security Council. You know very well that this is an important step. Let me flag that the uh, only leaders in the world who are sanctioned by the European Union are Assad from Syria, Lukashenko from Belarus, and now Putin from Russia. We will also target those in Belarus who collaborate with the Russian military aggression against Ukraine, and we will not stop there. We have also adopted a proposal to target all, I mean all, those who are significantly providing economic support, all who are, who are having a significant economic role in supporting the regime. 